Hi guys, PJ here. Today, well, a quirky little project. I thought I'd order the very, very cheapest gaming keyboard, micro-sized one, so it doesn't take up much room. Yes, it's a snooper, deary, elegance, wisdom, benevolence keyboard from, well, eBay. This thing was £10 and was, well, apparently from the UK. However, it did actually take two and a half years to arrive. Well, not quite, but you get the gist, so I'm pretty sure it came on a slow boat from China. This particular keyboard is ideal for those that want to save desk space, so it doesn't have a keypad and stuff. But what are you getting for your £10? Is it actually worth it? Like I say, I ordered this thing as a bit of a, a bit of a joke, to be honest with you, to see, you know, see what the score was. And uh, it's not really disappointed, if I'm honest. It's, um, well, chunky. I would say this thing is about one and a half inches deep. It's got a nice USB cable that you can see there. And on the back, it's listed as a G61 key RGB stream and gaming keyboard. Yes, model V700. And in fact, yes, it does light up. And no, it's not mechanical. The keys have a sort of soft touch to them. It feels a little bit like a really old keyboard, like on a Commodore 64 or BBC Model B. That's what it feels like to actually use the thing. But it is compact and it does light up. So there we've got some pulsing RGB array going on that's very psychedelic. Or you can actually change it by holding the function key down. You'll notice some white symbols on the front of the keys. Now, not only is this for brightness, but you can also change the rather sickly induced pulsing color as well. So it sort of stays a static uh, single color or it fades between, well, slowly fades between, you know, the, the blue, the green, the purples, etc., which is much more appealing. Or you can turn it off completely. So, not bad really, not when you think this thing's £10. Now, the other thing is, being compact, it doesn't have a, a row of function keys. So for the function keys, yes, you've got to, you know, press the other key at the same time as the function key and the same for the D-pad keys. So your D-pad is under your ADSW keys and you've sort of got to do a bit of a juggle to get those keys going. But, you know, it's okay for playing games and it does save a lot of space. Is there any problems with this thing? I mean, it is from China and it is incredibly, credibly cheap. Well, not with the actual keys. No, they all work. They all press correctly. They actually feel okay in a retro kind of way. And it is a brand that I've, like I said, I've never heard of. Just incidentally, the eBay advert for this didn't call it a snipperdiri, whatever you pronounce that keyboard. It actually called it something completely else that sort of made a bit of sense. But... Um, the item on eBay, the packaging didn't actually look like the packaging that came with this. So, um, yeah, maybe it's a substitute brand. Who knows? There is one problem with it, though. Putting it on a completely, and I have checked the desk, flat desk that does not have a dint or a buckle in it in any way, the keyboard is slightly warped, in other words. Um, if you press one corner of it, it sort of topples around. But... Guys, if you want a compact keyboard for £10, these things are on eBay and Amazon all over the place. You can't miss them. So uh, have a look. Could actually do worse, if I'm honest with you. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.